Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden here, crazy cat artist. Just doing a kitty paw today and then a paw print after. So just kind of shaping in the kitty's paw. And I'm only going twice the speed here now, so a little bit slower than than I usually speed it up to. And voicing over. And just getting the general shapes. That's the middle of that pad. There we go. You can shape the whole thing by putting three circles in. Well, ovals, I guess. And just carefully eyeballing where those need to be. And then we'll darken up around the edges to help shape those pads and the toe beans. And I don't outline them all the way around really strongly because I want to be able to give a suggestion of hair coming over them on the edges. So I just go slow and make every stroke count. I love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world or whatever. Talk to us. Help build the wonderful community of crazy cat artists. There's a little pad there and a pad there. We'll get a bit of that arm in there. Not a bit of shading, but you notice some of the lines that I used to make the, the ovals with that first kind of end up being background tone too. So that's why I don't worry about getting rid of it. It's just all part of the drawing. And if you just want to do a paw print, you're basically doing the same thing as you did over on the right. Except we'll keep it more simple and we'll fill it in with darkness. And of course you can, you know, kind of simplify these as much as you want. You could just do round pads too. Some people do that. You just take it off in your own style wherever you want to go with it. A cute little paw print. Thank you so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.